And we're back. Oh, that's fortunate. Sometimes there's bats in that treasure chest, too. Okay, here comes a fight with a bunch of guys. Always try and take out the magic guy first. If he starts shooting fireballs at you while you're trying to combo somebody else, he'll knock you down and kill you in one shot. that I'm not entirely sure why they bothered adding this fight but it is a very easy one Except, of course, in Master Ninja difficulty, if he does that move there, which I just dodged, and again, if he actually grabs you with that, you're dead in one shot. Which makes sense, I guess. The giant statue grabbed you and slammed you into the floor. I think you'd be pulverized, to say the least. And that's the end of him. In that room there that we've just opened is where you get the staff. The lunar staff. It's a pretty good weapon. It's a very good weapon for uh, using a specific technique of beating certain bosses with it. I'm not going to use it for now. <laughs> Didn't use any of that. Now to cross the bridge. See, that one got him straight away that time. Ugh. And that's that. You'll notice something about the water coming up here. I'm not gonna stop, but uh... You don't see Ryu's reflection in there. They, they, it's all pre-rendered, which kind of sucks because, I mean, the graphics isn't super duper, you know. There's room for character reflections. I mean, they have entire world reflections in Counter-Strike Source and, hell, even Sonic Unleashed. And uh, recently I discovered that they also have those reflections in Resident Evil 5, which look really good. I know this game's not quite as new as that, but come on. Character reflections, I mean, it's the way to go. In the 360 version of this fight, uh, the treasure chests in the corners, they actually just start randomly shooting out yellow essence for you to charge up, because they teach. this is like the tutorial part to teach you the ultimate technique, which is, you know, just hold down Y or triangle and charge up a big combo like that. Oh. After these guys come four red guys. Probably should charge up for these guys. Oh! 
another one. Maybe there's more than four. Maybe there's like six. Oh, what the fuck? I mean about the flying swallow not always taking off their heads. That's look at that. It took five flying swallows to take those guys' heads off. Well, the other guy too. An unfortunate thing about the PS3 version of this game, which I think really sucks, Muramasa shop here. Now in the 360 version, that shop there, you had enough money, you could upgrade any of the weapons you have to maximum as long as you have the money. In this version of the game, you can't do that. You have to go to the blue Muramasa shop to upgrade your weapons, and it only lets you upgrade one weapon one time per blue stone. I mean, I get it. They're saying, no, we don't want you to have level three dragon sword at the start of the game, but why the hell not? It's like, it's like why did they take out New Game Plus? I mean, Oh, Chapter Challenge is better. No, Chapter Challenge sucks. New Game Plus, you know, you go through the game, you earn all your, the giant health bar and the lots of uh, magic slots there with the flames coming out of them. And then when you start a new game, you still have it, you go through the game and get more. Obviously you max out your health bar, but you can get a lot of magic slots up there. A lot of them. But of course in uh, Chapter Challenge mode, you don't get that. Chapter challenge mode is it starts you at the beginning of every chapter with as much health as you would have at that chapter, but with all the weapons at maximum level. I mean, it's better than nothing, but give me my new game plus any day. Uh, let's take out this guy first. Ah, oh, look, there's another one. I hate these rolling fuckers. Let's burn him. And he dodged it anyway. Bastard. There we go. Take off his fucking head. Here comes a very cool cutscene where Ryu jumps off the top of one of these buildings. One of those things where you just wish you could do that. You probably wish you could do everything Ryu does in this game. Don't you do it. Don't you do it. Oh, you did it, you bitch. I must say, I do like Elizabeth's voice in this game. She does have a very sexy voice. In fact, Sonya has a really hot voice, too, I have to say. But I love the, uh, the English accent that, uh, Elizabeth has. Really good job on that. And unfortunately, I'm gonna have to cut that off here because uh, I'd love to have fit the rest of the chapter into the second video, but uh, it went over by two minutes, and so I decided to split them in half so the two videos were as substantial as each other. So check out the next video to continue my playthrough of Ninja Gaiden Sigma 2.